U squared, chapter 4. Imagine standing on the edge of a cliff, knowing that on the other side is everything you've ever dreamed of. There's no bridge, no path, just a vast space between where you are now and where you want to be. It's tempting to stay put, isn't it? To play it safe, to move slowly, and to avoid risking it all. But what if I told you that the only way to truly make that leap is to take the biggest risk of all, and to let go and trust in the unknown? Now, this is what Price Pritchett talks about in Chapter 4 of U Squared, a concept that is both simple and profound. Today we're going to explore how embracing uncertainty can unlock your next big move. Discarding Conventional Approaches Pritchett challenges us to stop relying on old methods and strategies, especially the ones that have only brought small gains. In this chapter, he calls for a radical shift in mindset. Instead of taking incremental steps toward improvement, what if you could take a quantum leap? Now, the first step in doing this is letting go of the idea that success is always gradual. We're often taught that we need to climb the ladder one rung at a time. But sometimes, the ladder we're on is leaning against the wrong wall. To achieve extraordinary results, you may need to take a risk and move in a direction that feels uncomfortable or unorthodox. Acknowledge the fear, but don't let it control you. Now, one of the most important messages in this chapter is that fear is natural but it shouldn't stop you from moving forward. Fear of the unknown, fear of failure, or fear of losing control. These are the kinds of fears that hold us back. Pritchett teaches us that these fears are indicators that you're on the verge of something great. If you weren't pushing your boundaries, you wouldn't be afraid. But here's the twist. Rather than focusing on overcoming fear, you should focus on moving through it. It's about action despite the fear, not waiting for the fear to disappear. By taking bold steps, you start to neutralize the power that fear holds over you. The Power of Nonlinear Thinking the next major takeaway from chapter four is the concept of nonlinear growth. You're not bound by the belief that progress is always steady or that success follows in a straight line. In fact, Pritchett argues that exponential growth, what he calls the quantum leap, requires stepping outside of logical, sequential thinking. Think of it like this. In nature, growth happens in spurts. A seed may lie dormant for months or years, and then, seemingly overnight, it sprouts and grows rapidly. Your personal or professional growth can happen in the exact same way. You might spend years building skills, but the real breakthrough could come in an unexpected, nonlinear movement. Faith in the Unknown To take a quantum leap, Pritchett emphasizes the need for faith, not just in yourself, but in the process. The reality is, you won't always know where your next step will lead you. You might not have a full plan, but that's okay. In fact, that's necessary. He suggests that you trust in the invisible forces working in your favor. Instead of obsessing over every detail, every potential outcome, Trust that the leap itself will open doors you can't see. This, is, this isn't blind optimism. It's about creating space for something bigger and better than your current reality. Committing fully to the leap. Finally, the chapter underscores the importance of commitment. Once you've decided to take that quantum leap, you must commit fully. Half-hearted attempts just won't cut it. Just like a person diving off that metaphorical cliff, there's no turning back midair. When you make the leap, go all in. And this doesn't mean acting recklessly. It means aligning your actions, thoughts, and energy 
with the new vision you're pursuing. It means you stop looking back at your comfort zone that you left behind and trust that the leap will land you where you're meant to be. Now, the next time you find yourself standing at the edge of your comfort zone, wonder if you should take the leap. I want you to remember something. You already have everything you need to make that quantum leap. The key is letting go of old habits embracing uncertainty, and trusting in the process. Fear will always be there, but it's your compass guiding you to the next level. By discarding conventional thinking, acknowledging fear, and committing fully to your leap, you can transcend your current limits and achieve breakthroughs you never thought possible. So, as you move forward in your journey, ask yourself, What would happen if you gave yourself permission to leap without knowing exactly where you'll land? What could you achieve if you trusted the unknown? These are the questions that will keep you moving toward your next breakthrough. The leap is yours to take. So, are you ready to jump? Thank you. I'll be back tomorrow for Chapter 5.